Hi. So we're talking about fat and protein today and how much you should should eat. Um, I've said it before in the uh, introduction video. So how much protein should you have? Um, there is no right and wrong. Sometimes we want more, sometimes we want less. So just listen to your body. And the same with fat. Um, a lot of people that's doing the Conroe diet, though, you'll see they do about 70 to 80% fat and the rest protein. When I was doing keto before my first son was born, so that was 2018, I wasn't eating as much red meat as I was I am now, but I was trying to eat a, mo a lot more fat and my fat would mainly come from dairy uh, and coconut oil. So I'm not sure, maybe I wasn't doing it right, but I personally, I feel better when I have like a higher protein, um, higher amount of protein. And I also eat a lot of fat. I don't count anything, um, but when I was doing keto, I was counting carbs and fat and protein, and um, I don't like counting anything. It just, I feel naturally, I just, um, I wasn't feeling as full on keto as well, so, but now I feel really, really full and I do eat a lot more protein. So I would just listen to your body. And then if you want to fine tune after a couple of weeks or months or whatever, then we can have a chat. Um, you can send me a message and we can look at it and depending on your goals as well. But I was just eat as much as you can of both foods. So think about your fats. So beef tallow, you've got lard from pigs, um, you've got butter, ghee. So ghee is just um, the milk solids have been removed from the butter. So you've just got the pure fat left. What else? Eggs, really, really nutritious. Some people have issues with eggs for multiple reasons. So just see how you go. Also have things like yogurt and I'll go, if you go for cheese, I'll go for the more hard uh, cheeses because they've got less carbs. Yeah. So of course the um, cheese also have protein in them and the eggs have protein as well. So um, usually if, when you eat animals, they come with both protein and fat because we need both protein and fat. I talked about it before, uh, but a good way of knowing if you're eating enough fat is to check your stools. So if you have diarrhea and if you're not drinking coffee, you're not taking um, any, using any sweeteners and you are also not drinking any alcohol, then I would maybe cut back on your fat um, because that's a sign of uh, your body not absorbing fat or if you're eating enough, um, if you're eating too much fat and your body has absorbed the fat that it can, the excessive uh, amounts of fat will come out the other end and cause diarrhea. So you can cut back. And then if you're having the opposite, so if you're having hard, dry stool and you're having issues going to the toilet, so you're constipated and it's painful, you are eating too little fat. So then you need to increase your fat. And um, I've talked about that before as well. So that's one way of knowing. And also just how you feel. If you're feeling hungry, okay, you're not eating enough, so you need to eat more. If you are having energy issues, so you're not feeling energized, you're feeling fatigued, that can be a sign that you're not eating enough. So again, up your fats and your protein. Have a fatty cut of any meat that you can afford. So ribeye, or if you just have with a lot of rump, which is not that high in fat, but I just add butter on and cooking tallow. So that's another way of doing it. So any questions, text me.